I ask. Uh, a lot of people have complained uh, about the resolution of uh, my tutorials so I am uploading the all the tutorials again with better resolution hope you like it so the, uh, this is tutorial first of cadence IC 6 and 5 in this tutorial I will be showing how to launch cadence virtuoso and uh, I will be showing um, how to draw different schematics in cadence virtuoso and then I will give a brief overview about uh, ADE and that is how to do simulations analog design environment in cadence so first of all uh, whenever you are going to launch cadence so you have to find whether uh, this file is there in the directory or not because uh, whenever you are going to launch cadence you have to invoke this file this file con contains all the different tools which are there in cadence for, uh, for, for which you have purchased license like if you can see here uh, different uh, paths have been defined which are in my server already so what I am going to do, I am going to open terminal, I am going to source it, so once it is done, so I will be launching, this is command for launching virtuoso, virtuoso dash and if I want to give a process name to this one, for instance sometimes what happens your system or your tool it gets stuck so you are not able to shut it down it gets hang like so what you can do is you can give end so that it will give a process name to this it will give a number to this process so whenever you are like stuck you can press skill 7954 it will automatically get closed so I am not going to do it so this is the common window uh, common interface window here you can uh, do some adjustments in you can do some settings for uh, like when you are, you are doing simulation if you want to ignore some things or uh, doing DRC, LBS uh, or doing post layer simulation you can do here uh, there are different things here one more thing you can for uh, your uh, GDS uh, for if you want to generate or you want to check your license how many licenses you are having a toolbar bind field different options are here you can explore them so first of all like uh, when you are uh, launching first time uh, cadence virtuoso so what you have to do first you have to create your own library uh, in which you will be working so I am going to here tools and then I will be going to library manager okay so since it's my first time I won't click here anything I won't click here so I'll go there directly to file new and library so I'll give a name that's uh, I'll give cadence okay so I am giving this cadence as a library name for my work which I will be using future once I will give this cadence name I will press ok so it will ask me the technology which I am going to use for this library so I will go the third option attached to an existing technology library I will press ok and it will give me here different libraries which are available here so this is UMC 180 nanometer I am going to use so I will click OK so it is here it is the cadence library I am using I can give any other name it is not cadence I can give any other name depending so now I have to do my work like first I have to do some schematic and some design so what I will do I will select this library I will go again with file new now earlier I was going for new library this time I will go for new shall be okay so one more thing is there this uh, let's take uh, as earlier I was I had an inverter again I'll be doing inverter here and uh, schematic view there are different types of views for now because I'm going to draw the schematic I have to uh, I have to choose schematic only okay so, I'll be pressing. so this is the workspace where I'm going to draw my designs and uh, these are the different uh, options here you can see here so first of all, I'll bring in a transistor that is NMOS and PMOS. Now there are uh, three ways to bring your transistor to create your instance. So one is like I'll go here create instance, okay? Browse. Then I'll go to my library which uh, technology I'm going to use, UMC 189. Now here there are uh, like for example I will take NMOS first. So here are like uh, NMOS one oh, and uh, NMOS underscore eighteen underscore NMOS. This is for one point eight technology. Sorry, one point eight power supply. 
and this is for 3.3 power supply this is used mainly for input out devices or uh, it's used in uh, what you say that uh, puck converters uh, 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 loader ldos etc so i'm going to use this one and again there are many views here so i'm going to use symbol okay and uh, this is here now if you see here this total width finger width and length so for 180 nanometer it is maximum is 100 width here and uh, same for length also and minimum is 240 and 180 for this thing now what happens here let's see if i give here 200 micro it won't take it it is showing me the width of n mass should be less or equal to 100 micro newton so i can't give more than 100 so what 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 if in my design i have some transfer which is hang more than 100 micrometer then what should i do so for that i can use this multi finger number so what this finger number will do it will divide that 200 into 2 so that i will get maximum width is 100 finger width so it will divide into two that is one way the other way is i'll draw only 100 and i'll put multiply 2 so this will give me 200 or okay so this is it but uh, for now i'll be taking let's let's say i took one micro meter and i am taking it 500 nm okay so this is n mass now this was one way to generate to create an instance other way is to click here this is the shortcut for this again i will go here and i can go same again there and now i have to put a p mod i will go for p mod okay and here i will give 4 micro i am not doing any design for now i am just showing the procedure so once i am done let's hope uh, i will be showing definitely the design procedure for some basic circuits at least so this is p mod okay so these are two ways now the third way is the bind key press i directly so i'll go again browse and uh, for now see in an inverter i hope you will be knowing the inverter circuit so there is nmos pmos and power supply is there so for power supply i'll go to this analog lib it is having all the sources which i which i will so let's take i took vdc okay symbol is there and uh, I had to give some voltage here, so I had to put 0.6 volt, okay. And this is there, okay. So, one way to zoom out, zoom in is to rotate your wheel of your mouse, other way is just press F, F is for fit, okay. So, this is it to zoom in, zoom out. Now, the connecting, there are again three ways to connect transistors with uh, other instances with each other. So, one way is like I'll drag this transistor on this one and again I'll take this back here this is one way okay other way is I'll go to the point where I want like this I want to connect to this one so I'll just click here and without releasing that that button I'll go to my destination so like this and release here so these are two ways another way is just go here create wire or just press W W is for wire okay and you can just click and wherever you want to go and again then click so three ways are there one is by dragging the transistor second one is by clicking on the source node and holding it until you reach your destination node third one is using w generally i use w so again i'll go here okay like here okay now two more things i have to get one is for vdd and one is for ground so i'll go again i and uh, it will be in analog lib so i'm just in, again i need one vdc okay and that will be of 1.8 volt power supply here and again i i'll press so i want ground so g and d there's a symbol for g and d okay i'll press one i need for this one one i need here and one i need here I'll press again F, okay. So this is the uh, this one, okay. So 
once uh, you have completed your this connections and circuits everything so whenever you do first of all you have to check and save here this one it will uh, also check for errors if you are having any error or warning or like that so there is no warning for example if i keep it this open here it will give me two warnings are here and it's showing this yellow box or that open terminal so i'm connecting them again okay one more thing is there now again i'll whenever i'm changing any anything i have to do this thing so one more thing is there i have to label for labeling i'll go here this is abc and i'll press in out let's take only two in and out space and you can give okay so again this is check and save now your once your design is done and schematic is done design is done so next the next thing is you have to go for launch adl now there are different types of adls here this is basic one this is for like uh, you have to do for 100 uh, turns like uh, 100 iterations you have to do or like 1000 iterations this is a complex like monte carlo analysis you have to corner analysis you have to do and uh, sens sensitivity tolerance uh, yield uh, etc this is for that so for now we are using only ad ad is for analog design environment so if you see this window here we in this in this portion we define the analysis like which what analysis we want to do dc analysis ac transient analysis and in this one we will uh, choose our outputs which we want to display and uh, in this window we will de define our variable if, if there is any variable in our circuit we will define it here so first of all whenever we, we do uh, any circuit we have to check the dc operating conditions of our transistor so for, for that we have to do dc analysis so what i am going to i am going to do this is a shortcut for choosing analysis or you can go here analysis choose okay so first of all I'll choose dc and i'll say D dc opening point okay so these are different variables like temperature i can vary later on i will show these things and design variable also i can vary any like i can put uh, width of my transfer way, uh, as a variable and i can vary it here and see the effect on my overall transfer circuit it's like that okay so let's say for now it's dc is this one and uh, and i'll do transient analysis okay okay no i won't do transient analysis because i i had defined here only a dc signal here i hadn't defined any transient signal here, okay so let's uh, let it be like that and uh, next thing is i'll run it okay for now there, there, it, it's simple dc analysis there is no transient no no ac ac i'm doing so this is the at least you can see it will show here it is running okay the warnings are there warnings can be ignored it's just so it will show here nodes how many transfers sources how many you are using so it is this now the important thing is how to see the dc operating conditions in our circuit so you go here you go annotate at dc operating points it will show you the dc of how much current you are driving and how much like we, whatever trans, uh, parameter you want to display it will show it here again uh, let us suppose i want to see i will select here uh, i want i want to see the region of operation see in cadence uh, region 0 is for cutoff region 1 is for uh, triode region 2 is for uh, saturation region 3 is for sub threshold so i am going to select region and i am going to spend gm gm pm okay and now similarly for p mod let's say i am going also only for region okay okay so this is it this is how we display our operating points other way is if you want to see the all the operating kind in one window so what you can do is you can go here and you can dc operating points and click on the transfer you want to see it will show all the dc operating points and uh, so this is things now now if i want to do the 
transient analysis what i go again i'll go in sense browse i'll choose vpulse here okay symbol and uh, it should be here here is 1.8 volt let's take 20 nano okay okay i'll check and save again i'll go to my window i'll go here transient uh, i'll give 20 nano so i'll give 100 nano here this is the accuracy if you want more accuracy then compare it to if you want like moderate liberal when uh, when you are uh, sampling like if you go for adc etc generally you go for liberal because conservative it takes a lot of time for simulation okay so this transient simulation i am doing now but now i want to see the uh, input and output so i'll go here one thing is output it is like uh, to be plotted or uh, to be saved it's to be plotted select on design here and i'll select these two and i'll go here so they are here and this is the shortcut for selecting the nets so while while selecting nets it shows the voltage if you select the node it will show the current okay so let's uh, simulate it first we'll see whether it works as an inverter or not okay so there is some glitch coming because we hadn't designed it properly so it's working as an inverter for now okay so this is i'll save it no no i won't save it let it be i'll show you how to save it so this is it this is the whenever you are completed you have completed your design so the next thing is to create symbol okay so for that you have to replace all these uh, active sources with pins so this i will be showing in next tutorial how to do that so for now uh, one more thing is there uh, vtc curve i'll plot vtc curve what i'll do i'll keep this as variable here dc voltage i'll keep variable okay and i'll do again check and save and uh, i'll go here i'll select uh, variable edit copy from cell view so whatever the uh, variable you are defined in cell view it automatically will come here i will define it 0.6 okay but now i want to vary this uh, uh, variable and i want to see the auto variation it's vtc curve i hope you have read about that so dc analysis i'll do i'll select variable here x select this one and i'll vary 0 to 1.8 power supply okay input output i want to see the input variation and uh, input i'm varying from 0 to 1.8 and i want to see the output how it is varying okay so as you see this is the vtc curve you have seen in books okay vhl vl and this one so in next tutorial i'll be showing how to create a symbol and uh, second thing is i'll be showing um, 